Well, flying solo today, guys. February 26th. It's supposed to be a beautiful day, mid 60s. It's supposed to. It's supposed to be windy as the day goes along, so we'll have to fight that, I guess. But yeah, it's going to be a beautiful day. Like I said, I'm out here on my own, uh, suspending some baits. We're trolling with planer boards, but we got uh, we don't have our baits on the bottom. We have no luck in this reservoir. We've talked about it before of dragging the bottom catch a couple little dink channel cats here and there but this little reservoir has no current no big channel edges and all that good stuff for bait and fish to hang out on deep <clears throat> so the shad they just move around in balls suspended in the water column and you know the blue cats you know usually pretty active they're chasing that that food source so that's how we fish here Maybe weird, I don't know. <clears throat> but anyway, I've got the, uh, I've got shad on this side of the boat. I've got chicken on this side. The two outside rods are suspended below the boards about 12-ish feet deep. The two middle boards around 15 feet deep. And then the two inside boards are about 18 feet. Uh, put the more shallow ones closer to the outside just to get them away from the boat. I guess the theory is, is the closer to the boat, the deeper you put the baits, the less chance the boat scares the fish. Also, if you run up close to a bank somewhere, then uh, your shallow ones are on the outside, so you got a less chance of dragging your bait on the bottom and getting it hung up. But yeah, that's what we're doing. We got water temps. Water temps still pretty cold. We're right at 44 degrees, just under 44. But uh, we'll be fishing, and well, right now we're in 18 feet of water, but <clears throat> we'll or almost 19 feet of water, but we'll eventually be in the 30s and 40s. Just fish this water column, see if we can uh, run into a hungry one this morning. Got a fish on the chicken, boys. Oh, we're trying to let the boat. <clears throat> Had been on the, mo the outside rod, so it was the shallowest. Let's see if I can get up here and get this net. Not a bad way to start out. Looks like a little teener. On the old chicken breast. Caught that fish about 12 feet deep. In about 30 feet of water. Uh, yep, 33 feet of water. Don't always have to be on the bottom, people. Like about 15 pounds. I 
I finally get away from these boats. I'll tell y'all a funny story on myself on that fish. Caught that fish, all the excitement out here by myself. Uh, got it in the boat, got it landed, took the hook out. I was gonna take a picture of it, couldn't find my phone. I searched and searched and searched and searched. And I thought that in all the excitement, I'd somehow knock my phone in the lake. So all the excitement of catching the fish kind of died because I thought I'd just lost a brand new cell phone in the lake. So let the fish go, got the release on camera and all that good stuff. Didn't get any pictures because I thought I didn't have a phone. Literally five seconds after I put the fish back in the water, I looked down in the splash well and the phone was laying down there. Hung up on a fuel line about two inches away from being submerged in water in the splash well. So all is good. I got the fish and the phone. Didn't get any pictures to brag on Facebook, but got it on video, got proof. It's gonna be a good day. How's it going, fellas? Good, I'm heading back towards the dock. Stay out of your way. Oh, you're good. Don't let me get in your way. Catch any big cats yet? I caught one there just a second ago, about 15 pounds. Good. I caught that big tree right there just now. <laughs> yeah, I see that tree. Trees are always biting good. Yes, they do. They fight hard, too. Yeah. Well, I didn't lose any gear, so I'll take it. Fish number two also on chicken. He's a little one, but that's okay. Not a bad fish, muddy fish, so he's definitely been on the bottom. Caught that fish about 18 feet deep, also on a piece of chicken breast. I'm gonna get a picture of this one before my accidentally knocked my phone in the water again. Alrighty, pliers, there's the pliers. Let's get the boat straight. Come on. I'm gonna let you go, buddy. him right through the top of the mouth right behind that tooth patch i mean he wasn't going anywhere come on dude i'll let you go oh yeah about ten and a half 